All right. Take two. <laughs> it's, there's always take two with this channel, I swear. I don't know why. I don't know why you guys even watch me. <laughs> you got rocks in your head, people. All right. What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome to Zingaro Sailing Live, where we are bringing you live uh, this wonderful group of people live from Bermuda. I've got so much stuff to tell you guys. Uh, I'm not even on my boat right now. I'm on a, a 60 foot Bavaria. I'm taking this million dollar boat across the Atlantic for a friend. Uh, hi, James and Philippa, if you're watching. Love you, man. Um, and I, this is my crew. I have a, a dream crew this time. It's an all boy crew. We're all veterans. And uh, we're three American veterans on a US flag boat flying a big ass American flag. <laughs> I don't even know if that's legal. I'm not sure. There's probably some kind of rule against it, but I was trying to find it in the rule book. Yeah, whatever. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? It sounds okay. Keith, thank you very much. Well, who's here? Joe, um, keeping public lands open. There's still no sound? Is the sound okay or not? Sound good? Yeah, much better. Good. All right, sweet. Well, some of you say, say yes and some of you say no. Graham's here. Awesome. Joe, what's up, dude? Okay, good. So, look, uh, I want to introduce you guys to my crew, and I want to introduce you to, to some lovely, lovely people that we met. I'm going to let them tell you how we met. I'm going to let these guys tell you how we met. It was a really cool story, and now they're on our boat. Yeah, yeah I'm, so, I'm so glad you guys are here. Why don't we go around and introduce, and introduce ourselves again for the second time i'm sorry the first time i try I, I forgot to plug in something there's a lot of shit here i'm just saying yeah <laughs> all right hello everybody out there in the youtube world <laughs> he fogo from st george's bermuda uh commodore of the east air mini yacht club uh, i don't know if you guys are familiar with comet sailboats but we specialize in sailing the comet sailboat which is basically a training boat for the star that's me. Cool, man. Yeah. Hi, guys. George Haywood here, Vice Commodore of Mid-Atlantic Boat Club, sailing chairman of the Comet class. Yeah, I'm here out uh, hanging out with these guys. Uh, oh, my God. I think I've had one too many drinks, but you know these guys, so you know what we're dealing with. <laughs> uh, we, we met them at East End Mini Air Club. Uh, Shelly with an EY, you have to get her story because I just walked into this, took them for a drink, and here we are. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Shelley with an EY, Anderson. And I met James, Zach, and Joey. 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 Don't forget Joey. They were on their way back to their boat. But they look kind of lost. And I'm like, <laughs> hi, you know, how are you? And I was just going into East Am Mini Yacht Club. And we got to talking. And, what about an hour? And Zach, of course, he just loved my accent. I don't know why, it but cool it's accent. Bermudian. It's Bermudian. Mm. Anyway, one thing led to another, and George showed up, and we all went inside and drank, and drank, <laughs> and drank. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, one thing that Shelly didn't, didn't tell you guys was we were walking around with, like, a, a bag, and all of us forgot our money. And we were just kind of walking around to see what the what the set what you know we hadn't really explored much of this part of the island yet, and we met these beautiful people and, and we're like okay well we don't have money so we're gonna go and they're like no you're not you're coming in here and for the whole night we couldn't buy a drink it was great. Hey, I'm Zach. Uh, I am crewing with James for the Transatlantic. Uh, I met James about three years ago and. Uh, he knew that I was having some boat trouble and just doing some major refit, major fiberglass, and I had uh, a positive mental attitude and YouTube watching James, and I just threw him some questions. He was incredibly kind and invited me to his WhatsApp group where the Brain Trust, the, sail the Sailing Brain Trust, Graham, I recognize as part of that Brain Trust, and every question that I had on major like refitting in my boat, uh, they took care of me, and then uh, James threw in there that, hey, I'm crossing the Atlantic, my dates worked out, and... I'm very, very fortunate to uh, be part of this crew and loving every minute of it. Joey, your turn, <clears throat> Joey. Hey guys, I'm Joey. Um, I just recently retired, so <laughs> I, I got nowhere to be, and Zach was kind of in the right place at the right time when I was traveling up north. Um, so I just gave him a call, and 
he told me he was crossing the Atlantic, so I, you know, went and picked up some rum and tequila and brought it over to him and that's, was going to... That's it. He didn't even bring a coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a coat. Yeah, yeah, that's accurate. He had a backpack to go somewhere else. Yeah, I was going to London. So shout out to Corey. Thank for you Thank you for giving me your coat. Um, <laughs> but these guys have hooked me up and uh, I just kind of am uh, trailing along. And I don't think they can get rid of me as of right now, so... No, we won't get rid of them. We're going to keep them in the boat. So, so Joey, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Joey is a, um, he was in the Navy as a corpsman, so he was a nurse in the Navy. Okay. And, uh, and Zach was a fighter pilot in the Navy. Oh, yeah. Turned, turned midwife. He's going to school for midwifery yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, by heart. You, you, did she, did he tell you that story? It's yeah. a, it's a really good story because it's such a dichotomy from, like, the two jobs, from the two lives. Like, you've five. lived two yeah. very crazily different lives. That's yeah. pretty neat, man. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, but people... Exciting. Yeah, and the, one of the reasons I can do that is all the support that I've had from doing that. So I think a lot of people are kind of um, concerned when they're making huge career shifts. Um, and it is scary. Don't let me take that away. Like, it is really uh, scary to kind of make big moves like that. But if you're following your heart, people recognize that, and they join together to support you. For example, coming here in Bermuda, I mean, granted, we're pretty much – you know, wayfair, wonder-lusting souls, but man, Bermuda has come together to support us. Every turn we take, there's just kind people here. Uh, so if you're thinking about coming to Bermuda, uh, I strongly, strongly recommend it. I think it's my favorite island I've ever been to. So speaking of that, let's let's well, let's hear well let's hear a little bit of the accent of Bermuda. You guys have a very interesting accent. You know, it's kind of different than anywhere I've ever I've ever. Well, seen. I, I grew up I grew up in the hotel. And my accent was more American than anything, mm. but because you was pretending. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I had to make sure you guys understood me, and you know, slipped a ten, a tenner, or a twenty, you know, under the table. <laughs> but at the same time, if I'm talking to a Bermudian like Keith, you won't understand me because we take every shortcut in the world. You know, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and we down the road, we're going down down D road to do just you know, hang out. You know, we cut corners everywhere we go. Mm. Having said that, the interesting part about this interview and meeting you guys is I bought a boat. Nice. I bought a boat. When did you buy that boat? I bought that boat three months ago. Nicely done, sir. Heath and I negotiated the price, and Heath went and done everything. I bought a boat on... I got the loan on Monday, started on Friday, got the loan on Monday, and... We just negotiated, and here we are. I didn't tell Shelly until Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a what did you story. say, Shelly? I said, how could you do that without doing an investment like that without informing me? Yeah. yeah well, I was not a happy camper until I saw bedroom, right? the boat. Yeah. <laughs> it had a bathroom and a kitchen, and I was happy. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, you know, I've got an S2 30-footer, and um, we're loving every minute of it. Every minute. Is this your first boat? I've had a comment for for forever. Yeah. You know, I've had comments yeah. forever. Well, I after. guess the answer would be first liverboard. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is the first liverboard. The first yeah. liverboard. Yeah. yeah. That, that's Keith, the have you ever had a liverboard boat? I did. I once had a 40 foot um, tiara that I don't have anymore. I now have a 27 foot Jupiter with twin outboard. So, yeah. yeah he likes Pure speed. speed. Pure <laughs> speed. <laughs> Offshore fishing boat, that's what that is. Yeah, pure speed heat. Yep. I, but I think the best part about all of this is that Shelly has taken charge. She has made it her lady's boat. It's her boat. Nice. I just do all the work. Nice, I can't wait to see it. We're going to go over there and see it after this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And James, cool. it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean. you too. You guys are rad. Yeah, you, Shelly yeah. with the EY. Yeah. I yeah. told her. I, I told her when we met. I'm like, you can comment on any any of my videos, and I will read it. And, and if you put Shelly with the EY, I will know it's you. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. gonna get that now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all good. All good. All good. Yeah. I will. I definitely do. So, um, I gotta I gotta stop for a minute, and we're gonna say hi to some people. We're gonna thank Joe. Because he just gave, he just tipped us uh, nine pounds, which is like thirty-seven dollars in U.S. dollars. Yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you for the beer, man. Re appreciate that. That's gonna go right into the wine fund, so <laughs> that's gonna be a, a glass of wine for everybody. There you go. Appreciate Thanks. that. Thanks, Joe. So Kiwan is here. What's up, dude? Vince, um, 
Tony's here. I I thought I saw. I thought I saw farming and flying. Yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? Um, Tony Simmons. Tony Simmons. He's Richard Simmons' brother. <laughs> you ever heard of him? Oh wait, uh, Joe sent us at nine pounds twice. Ah, oh, you're the man, dude. I love you. So you've enjoyed Bermuda, and you had Bermuda Day yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So and you met many Bermudians and much entertainment. Bermudians like to drink. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's a, it's very very interesting. Brian Swift just stepping in. What's up, brother? Thank you for stepping in. Um, so I, I wanted to ask you guys, like, well, okay, look, we got here. On, we're lucky enough to come here on your Independence Day. Is that what that is? No, no, we're it's, not independent country. It's yet. a Bermuda Day. B Bermuda holiday. It's Bermuda Day. Heritage, right? What yeah, is heritage. what is it? Bermuda. It's supposed to be the Queen's birthday. No, not that's, that one. That's what it used to be celebrated. Uh, yeah. It used to be. But yeah. But now it's as a heritage day. It's a heritage Bermuda heritage. Yeah. Yeah. We we celebrate the Queen's birthday. We used to celebrate the Queen's birthday on to the, yeah, we're a British colony. We're not independent. You guys all have British passports? Yes. yes. Yeah. British yeah. and Bermuda. Yeah. Have oh, you have, you have two? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's not two, two. It's combined as one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, we can go to the, to England and live, and be taken care of by them. You know, insurance, I'm sorry, uh, hospital and schooling and, schooling and, and things arrested. like that. So a lot of Bermudians are now uh, moving to England mm. to live. You know, I got two kids that, that live out there with their families and, you know, they still call me for money, but hey. <laughs> Bermuda That's Day. what daddy is all about. Yeah. So um, Bermuda has a really cool, uh, by the way, we're gonna, we have a, an appointment with the Spirit of Bermuda, which is the largest... Um, it's a training it's a, sailing vessel. It's the largest training sailing vessel in Bermuda, and we're gonna we're gonna have an interview with the director of the company and the captain of the boat on Tuesday morning, and I'm I'm very lucky that I have a very good girl that works for me that set that up. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Jen, if you're watching, you're rad, and uh, ah, it's raining. Close everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the reason I mention this is because Bermuda, if you guys are sailors. The Bermuda rig is what we're sailing right now. Like every single sloop boat is a Bermuda rig. Yeah. That's correct. And it's so cool to be in the spot that that's named after because yeah. I've been sailing for more than half my life. And right. I, I really dig that. I always knew it as a Bermuda rig. So when I got here, I was like, okay, now I got to figure out why it's called that. Right. And it turns out that the island is so long and thin that it was real hard to walk everywhere. It was way easier to sail. But then yeah. when you sailed, you had to go one way downwind and one way upwind because it's... It's kind of like right along the, the center line of the trade route. Mm -hmm. So, and then all the fishing is up in these pinnacles right north of the island. So yeah. the same thing, they'd have to go upwind to go fishing and then, and then downwind back. So they, they, over the years, developed the best rig for going upwind and happens to be like the best rig for sailboats because that's what everybody has now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Any any other thing to add I, to that? I, that's, well, that's, what, that's my understanding. Well, yeah. your, your understanding is somewhat correct. Oh, oh shit. But the needle and thread of it is that uh, back in the day, they had these boats that were called gigs, pilot gigs. And they had a crew that would row out into the ocean to meet a ship. And the way it worked was it was a, uh, I don't know how many it was. I, I should have had my facts before I came. <laughs> but they had a, a, a fair number, and whoever got there first got the job. Yeah. to bring the ship in. Uh, so what happened is they decided to make a sail instead of rowing that they'll sail out there and come to find out that this rig that they created, was, the, which is now known as the Bermuda rig, was this triangle sail that was excellent for going upwind. And they found out that it was very fast. Mm -hmm. And they got rid of the square rig, and then hence we have the Bermuda rig, which is the triangle sail on every boat you see today. Awesome. From this little yeah. island, Bermuda. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is the home. Yeah. This is the home. This is where it started. This yeah. is where it started. That gives That's me correct. chills. Yeah. You guys talking. I, about I, I got a question. I'm looking at your your uh, subscribers. Tony Simmons is Bermudian. Is that correct? Uh, it might be. Yeah, you should ask him. <laughs> Go ahead and talk to him. Hey, hey, Tony. Tony, we, we we gotta we gotta hook up. If you're a Bermudian, if you're here, we gotta hook up and you know have a drink at East End Mini Club or. 
or Midland Boat Club, or even now Western yeah. Sailboat Club. Yeah, nice to see you visit my country. Yeah, he's, he's, he's oh, yeah, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, just sweet. seeing that. Right so on. You, 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 where are we on now? Sweet. Didn't even know I got a subscriber. I'm sure I have a couple subscribers yeah. from here. But yeah, yeah, look at him. He just said, yes! Yeah. <laughs> are, are you here, Tony? Yeah. Yes. That's a little bit delayed, so you got to ask okay. me a question. Take some minutes okay. to come. Okay, and okay, then cool. Come back to you. Okay, but but having said that, the sailing fraternity in Bermuda is top notch. You know, we get uh, the cross section of Bermudians that are that are sailing now. It never used to be. It used to be, and I'll say this online: it used to be us and them. Not anymore. Mm. Not anymore. You know, I've been I've been in the sailing fraternity. I was the um, the vice president of the Bermuda Sailing Association of Bermuda. I've been around sailing for, oh my God, almost 30, 40 years, you know. But I've never been that good at it, but I've always been administrator. Mm. You know, my, my, I always stay at it because of my sons. I have three sons that are sailors. Really? My, young, my youngest son, who owns his own yard, he lives on his own yard. Cool. He's got a grand piano on his yard and a what? and a yeah. forty foot yeah. and a yeah. forty inch TV on his yard. Yeah, we need to see. I yeah. want to. I play piano. I would oh, love to go visit his yard. He used yard. to wake us here? up. Is he it used, here? Yeah, he used to wake us up six o'clock mornings playing this piano because yeah. when I stayed down beside Dude, him. But can we go there? Have he said? I, I got to find out where the hell he is for one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he lives on his yacht and he's all over Bermuda. I love it. You know, he's Dude. A, he he works in the Endeavor uh, at Endeavor let's, program Let's here. make this a uh, an yeah. outing one yeah. day before yeah. we leave. We're gonna leave in a you know, week. So you know, sailing has okay. has taught my kids, taught my sons. One, to kept them off of the streets. Two, you have to be self sufficient to go sailing. You have to get out there and you have to get back. I yeah. tell people any every time that if you feel that your kid is not getting what he needs to get, send them sailing. Ooh. Send them sailing. The freedom, the independence. The freedom, independence, and again, you have to get out there and get back. Yeah. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And I tell people, don't buy them a boat. Let them earn the boat. Mm. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, because you buy them, everybody buys an opti mm. for their kid. And then two months later, the kid can't even put a foot in this thing because it's too big. Mm -hmm. And what happens to the opti? It just sits. So don't buy them an opti. You know, let them train in an opti. But having said that, you know, move to the next boat. You, you and the next the boat, the, oh, yeah. the yeah, next yeah. boat out of the optics is the Cummins. Mm. You yeah, know, because you the, mm. the only class that's uh, really good is the Cummins. I, I so, had, my first boat go. was a 28-foot boat. I'm, I'm, well, I, she asked me what boat was mine. What did I start in? I didn't get the dinghy sailing. I didn't even sail ever in mm. my life until I bought my first boat. And it was a 28-foot uh, Islander. Okay. And I paid this guy, this crazy guy, 40 bucks to, t to tell me how to sail it and, yeah. and he got on the boat and all he was doing was smoking cigarettes and drinking beer and all no. like I, I, and, and i was like hey what are you doing man what, what is this what, yeah yeah, how, yeah what is that yeah, he's like yeah. yeah you just put wind in the sails and i was like you know what if this guy can do it <laughs> i can do it yeah. you guys mentioned you guys mentioned uh opties and sailing and you guys have a crazy sailing dinghy here I don't know if everybody else, uh, maybe Tony knows about it, but man, you, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the fitted dinghy. How much, how much square foot feet of sail do you put on this dinghy? That is, he can tell you that. No, I'm, I'm forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. Not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up a picture of that to show okay. these guys because it's, it's insane. But this is, this is a 12 foot boat. What is it called again? It's called Bermuda fitted dinghy. It's a 12 foot boat with a 40 foot mast, uh, ball sprit. I should have, yeah, right I should have, I should have right, right some particular. Right yeah. Easy. Yeah. 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 Um, and the boat, you can't, no, someone has been in the boat at all times, otherwise it would just capsize over its own weight of the mass. And then yeah. it would yeah. keep, it What's would, the crew? Oh, yeah, this is seven, great. Look seven, at that. seven Look crew. At that. Seven people in a 12 foot boat. Yep, seven crew, and one person's job is to bail. Constantly bail. Yeah. 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 Do you put spinnakers on those things? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, That's dangerous as shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. And they, and they always sink from the stern if if really? if, you, if you do something wrong yeah, yeah. so shrunk, she well, sinks it's down. Sink, sink, like it's done well no it's, it's you're done, done for that Here race <laughs> yeah yeah that, those guys have sunk because they have yeah. to take Massive. have to take the sail out and all that to to, to ride your boat man. back it looks crazy yeah. imagine if they made like an eighty foot boat like that you'd have like Cheapest, a, creepers. a two hundred foot bounce <laughs> <for it. laughs> no doubt. Wow, that's so neat. That's Actual fact, the they should be out here sailing tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, no way. You got to come here tomorrow. Oh, to, I'm going to get yeah. the dinghy and like, yeah. zip around and, and yeah. build they them. They oh, you here. know what? I have a drone. Can, can, can I fly the no. drone here? No. 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 If you have a pilot's license, I then do. you, because you could, okay, well, you could fly. You're, you're the mom. Get in touch with the airport, yeah. and they'll give you a code, to, so your drone, otherwise it's not going to power up. Shit. 
they have a they have a the whole a, island. No, no, nothing. No, 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 Justin George because the airport's here. The airport's here. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. We got a pilot. I can do this. Okay. 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 So maybe maybe you guys can. Earned your keep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta really pilot this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you got a real pilot's license. Uh huh. I think you gotta have a drone certification though. You can't fly my drone, dude. Oh. You're not that good. Ospreys aren't as hard. You're right. I have those two little levers are so hard. You're right. How many how many Marines do you fit on your drone? <laughs> <laughs> how many Marines do you fit on your Osprey? Uh, give or take, but uh, about thirty. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bad motherfucker, man. Uh, that's fun. Uh, okay. Okay. So so tomorrow they're gonna be doing this di uh, fitted dinghy thing, right? Yep. And, and the comments will be out tomorrow as well. And we're going to go to the yacht club. You're going to bring your saxophone, Heath. It's quite possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, man, it's got some it's got some dust on yeah, it. I don't know if I don't know if I want to bring it out. I'm like, bro, yeah. come on, you have to bring it out. Reed's cracked and all that. <laughs> yeah. Are yeah. you are you going to bring your guitar? Hell yeah. Okay. That's the whole point. So, uh, and and back onto the fitty dinghy. Mm. It's a whole set of different rules. So, it's no port and starboard. As far as when they come together, they hail and they both have to tack. Really? Yeah. So yeah. it's it's kind of fun. It's, it's it's, but it's hard to understand because you're wondering why did this guy didn't just call him on starboard? You know? Uh. Yeah. So they hail each other and they both tack at the same time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unless someone's clear ahead, then he can, he'll cross and you know. But most times they hail each other. Hey, I, I gotta say did say hi to Joe. Joe again, Joe. You, she just gave us another five pounds, so that's a total of like twenty five pounds. That's like that's like two bottles of wine. Yeah, I hear so you. so thanks for the wine, <laughs> Joe. You're the you're the whoa. Cheers. You're the whoa, man. I, I I'm sorry, I forgot you were a girl. I don't have a lot of a lot of girls on here. Must be doing. Um, let's see. S S Y become Denmark is here. So someone's watching from Denmark right now, guys. Nice. Yep. Um, K D Marino says, "What's up, James? Looks like a good bunch." Nah, they're all they're all a bunch of <laughs> bunch of pirates on my boat. Oh no. Craig Tucker says it's 8:34 a.m. here on the east coast of Australia. We have a Craig Tucker in Bermuda too. Yeah. Craig says, "What about the Felucha? Are you in, are you in Bermuda, man?" What about the Felucia? How long have they been around for? They have a triangle sail. I, I have no idea what that is. Can you yeah. send me some info on that? Yeah, uh, well. I think there's a Canadian in here too. So. Uh, it's Norway, Sweden, Stein. What's up, dude? Craig Tucker, hanging you, Joe. Too early here. The green shot's talking too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Canoe Paddle says, I hear you loud and clear in North Ontario, can can uh, Canada. So we got Canada, we got Norway, we got Denmark, we got Australia, uh, Australia we got New Zealand, we got Bermuda, and uh, and we got a lot of the people from the states, I'm sure. Nice, hey. very nice. So um, I, I wanted to ask you guys another question, and this isn't about sailing. This is about your island. Like being from here, where did your accent come from? Because it's so different. Do you know this? That it, nobody has an accent like you. Do you know where it's from? I didn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound funny to you? <laughs> yes. You're not Bermudian. <laughs> and we just spoke this way all our life. This is what we do. Um, yeah. And, yeah. and it's it. called Bermudian. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Uh, they're actually making a, a new dictionary. Just, really? just so you know that. Ber a Bermudian for, dictionary. For a Bermudian slang. Can you, can you tell us some slang words? Bermudian words. No. Tell us some, teach us some Brad words. How do you say how do you say asshole in Bermuda? <laughs> Same way. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he pointed at me. <laughs> Green chair. Yeah, I'm talking too much, so yeah, I ain't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, man. But, you know, but the language, the language, again, you know, we talk so you can understand us, but when we talk to each other, you ain't going to understand us. Yeah. Ain't, aren't, isn't, ain't. That's the way it is. Everything is an here, apostrophe. Here, the, the. Here, here could be you're here in your head. Yeah. Here could be I'm right here. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's here. You heard me? You, you know, you yeah. heard what I'm saying? And you heard this, you heard but, that. But too. it's got a little bit of the Queen's English, too. It's like twang to it. Yeah, the twang is Queen's English. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's so neat. It's so cool. It's like such an interesting accent. Well, I'm glad I, you I, like I, it. I love it. I, I love wish it. I knew what you were talking about. Yeah. I mean, I've been all over the world, man. I can hear them. And you guys have a very Definitive accent. Okay. 
That's a cool one. And I like it. And it's called Bermudian. I like it. And Bermudian. very but we beautiful, all speak different beautiful people. So let me ask Bermudian. you this: Then, how was the passage coming from Rio Rio to Bermuda? Mm. They say that the the Gulf Stream coming here is pretty pretty dangerous and rough and maybe it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. We, we, we got taken care of. Current. Yeah, the current took care of us. It actually gave us a nice boost all yeah. the way oh, here. Wow. It was yeah. a ama- except for the last day, we had a current in our favor. I'd say from a maybe. 30 miles, maybe 30 miles out of the Chesapeake, we had a positive current all the way here. So that's like four days until the last day is the only time where we got like a negative not current or against us, a current against us. Yeah. So when we were in the uh, Gulf Stream, we saw, I think, 6.5 knots of speed is what the boat indicated. Um, so that was insane, but we took it right on the beam. So it didn't, I kind of, that was almost negligible. In fact, it, I think it was kind of like pushing us a little bit towards where we were going. Um, and then right outside, as soon as that started to die off, it's also really warm. Like we were, we were f- frigid, uh, and we were wrapped up in coats and jackets. As soon as we hit the current, we were in t-shirts. Oh uh, yeah, it warmed right up. And then, and then we got into like a little bit of a counter current. Joey's gonna go. Um, there's another dinghy pulling up right now for some friends. Actually, it's Sail Libra. Sail Libra's coming. That's, yeah. So uh, then we got into a counter current, and it pushed us. We had a positive, just like pushing us right on the back into Bermuda uh, for like a knot and a half. So it really sped us up. But we did see like 13 knots on this boat coming over. Yeah, it was amazing. Okay, so I gotta stop. We gotta um, say hi to some people because we just got a bunch of new people. There's guys from, Paul is from Scotland. Um, uh, Dreamer of the Dreams, Stein says, one of the best sailing channels, just missing Plucky, LOL. Man, I fucking love that guy. He's my brother from another mother. I, I love Plucky. He's my Australian friend. He's he's like me, but Australian. Okay. Yeah, nice. we're, we're, we're buds. With big hair. Uh, Mark from the Lake of the Ozarks. Craig Tucker, we're all supposed to go to Australia 2021. Uh, Craig said, do you guys do you guys play cricket? Yes. Yep. Yeah, do you? Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was hey, not hey, even a stop. Hey, hey listen, do West Indies against Australia cricket? I'm there, okay? I'm there. I'm there. What's up, guys? Bermuda has a How you doing? Good. We came very good. Oh, okay. We brought some uh, chicken wings. Hey, I need I need everybody to scoot in. I'm going to get back. Uh, okay. And then you guys all scoot in. Just make sure the pump's tied up. Yeah, you, 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 guys, you guys can come, we'll come in. in. We'll, sit, we'll sit low. Yeah. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Sit low, good, low. No, no, you have to come over here. Sonny, come on. Hey, so yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys... I ran into Ryan from Sail Libra here, and uh, we had a podcast yesterday, so it's version two of the podcast that a lot of you guys uh, saw on my channel about a month or two, maybe two months. How, what, when was it? No, this side, man. This side. Over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, because nobody can see you. Oh, oh, no, no. You know what? That's a good spot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Sonny? Welcome here. And, uh, and, and Ryan, if you don't know Ryan, um, he is... Uh, he, 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 a very famous charter captain with a lot of miles and a lot of experience and uh, a lot of hair. So he's a, he's a cool cat. He does, he does an offshore training program. Why, why don't you tell him what what is your like spiel for that? I don't know if you want to get beat up offshore coming right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I guess we just uh, we we take uh, an experience and uh, let you live through it. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Basically, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we we take you offshore and uh, show you the actual conditions that are out there and. You just hold on. Yeah, I mean, so, sometimes the weather's great, sometimes the weather's not, but we we go pretty much anyway as long, you know, obviously nothing dangerous, but we take the conditions how they come. And I'm a little scared. In your own boat? Yes. Yeah, right there. No, I, I, you would take them in your boat? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Because yeah. I just bought a, 20, a 30 foot um, S2. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it had it for two months, and I've only been outside the gate once. <laughs> So. Well, this is the man you need to talk yeah, to, this my nice, friend. This is a nice little area to sail yeah. in, but yeah, if you've only been out a couple of times or yeah. once, right? Yeah, yeah, but the problem is he doesn't go sailing when it's like this. He only goes when there's like 12-foot breakers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> well, the length of the trips determines the weather, typically, because if you can't, if you can't see the future far enough, then who knows what's going to happen once Looks you get out there. Like. Yeah. But we always try to, you know, we operate outside of hurricane season. Here, no, I'll just sit here, bro. No, I'm fine. Here, no, I'll Okay. Wait, I want to meet Sonny. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sonny, come up here. What are you doing? Oh, I, you brought over chicken wings? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> My brother. Sweet, man. Love you, bro. Oh, thank you. 
Alabama. Which one? <laughs> Mr. Chicken. Zach was saying, Mr. Chicken. 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 Yeah. That's awesome. Gotta go to Mr. Chicken. All right. That's somebody, somebody just uh, donated a, a twenty dollars to us. Thank you very much, Unica. You are awesome, Martillo. Buy the nice folks for, for from some from Bermuda some wine. <laughs> just bought you a bottle of wine, guys. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Here's to Unica. Unica. I'm. I'm. I hope. Oh my God. Really. You guys, I love well, you. you. Gonna, would you guys, would you guys like some chicken wings? Right? <laughs> yeah. Don't be they shy. Sonny, come here. Come here. What do you think all the people at home are doing right now? Everybody wants to, to meet Sonny. Oh. Sonny, Sonny is, uh, I think, the best career you could ever Spicy. want. Oh. I when when I met Sunny, I like she she would made me eggs and then uh, fixed the water maker and and ran the water maker and then uh, I think did she laundry? yeah she did my laundry oh, yeah no. Sunny. Hi everybody. <laughs> nice to meet you. You're Sunny, best, where Sunny. where are you from? She brought me chicken. I'm from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Some of the best sailors in the world in the Netherlands. Many, it's uh, in their blood, they say. How many Atlantic crossings do you have, Sunny? Me? I, I've done two. Two Atlantic crossings? Really? Yes. Yeah. I've yeah. done zero. Really? This is my first one. Oh, no, exciting, huh? I've done three three Pacific crossings, but no, I, I spent most of my sailing days in the Pacific. Okay. Yeah, Sunny's an excellent sailor. She can single hand Libra. Dang, Sunny. Mm. Really? Yeah. He taught me. You a bad motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, right. Six man and 60 foot boat all the way from uh, St. Thomas to St. Croix, 45 miles. Okay. okay. First time. I took a nap. You know. You took a nap? Yeah, I was sleeping. Here, if, hold that if, if, if I knew the extent of what was going to take place here, because I, I snuck off from home, <laughs> but, I, but I have a buddy at the house that worked with me on the, on the CLGP, and I'm. Um, He's done 53 crosses. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. 53? Yeah. Oh, that Tom, Tom like Wayman. Who is rolling, this guy? He's, he's always on the water. Yeah, he's done 53 You know this crosses. guy? No, no. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just thinking 53 crosses. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's more than miles. that's more than John Kretschmer, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tom, who's on the... Uh, oh, by the way, everybody, I, I, I met my one of my heroes, one of my sailing heroes, John Kretschmer, finally. And... Uh, he beat me in arm wrestling, which was a really sh real shame because he's 63 years old. He's, he, I think he's built like a baby gorilla, and uh, he's very strong. If you meet John Kreshmer, he's very, very strong. But we had a really good podcast. Like, I was super nervous. Remember, I was really yeah, yeah. nervous. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to fuck this up. I know. Well, you probably didn't. I, I, no, 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 I, I fumbled there. some you of the it. words, you know. I slept through it. But mostly... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Joey. <laughs> Listen, you gotta shut your mouth, Joey. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Um, yeah, so we had a really good podcast. That'll be coming out on my on my Patreon channel. If you're a patron of mine, that'll be coming out like in the next week. I, I think. Oh, maybe I'll get it done before we leave here. I think I've got yours to do and John's to do. But I'm gonna do it. Like the, this is the way I do it. Well, no, no. The, but the way I do it is. Um, whoever's more important, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> okay, well, man, I just got moved to the bottom of the <laughs> No, it's, no. It's hard, it's hard to get you know, up there with John. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I, the way I do it is um, it, uh, I, I put them out raw for my patrons because they love me anyway. So right. if, they, if I sound like an idiot, they're just like, oh, well. It's well. just normal. Yeah, but the, 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 the rest of Pampo. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it's just normal, it's exactly. Normal, yeah. And then I have to spend like an hour and a half watching it and cutting out all the, all the curse words and bullshit and right. stuff. Editing yeah, 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 yeah. Look yep, right. and, and it's just a lot, you know. Like I want to see that interview again, especially because I asked him about his books he likes. And this yeah, is this yeah, is one good. of my heroes. This hey, is really this guy is like the Arnold Palmer of sailing, the oh. the Tiger Woods of sailing. The, <laughs> those are both golfers, huh? Yeah, I, I watch good. golf. What's what's yeah, another ours. what's another good analogy? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth is dead. <laughs> he's like he's like the yeah, Buzz or the, uh, the Buzz, Buzz Aldrin, Aldrin of sailing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like him too. Yeah, he? yeah he does. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's, he's awesome. I, and, yeah, he's a cool I, cat. I talk about John all day long. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's got a ton of miles. He's been uh, he's been all over. He's been. So let's let's all say hi to some people here. John Brecken, hello from J S Mississippi, M S I S I S I S S I P P I. Right beside Alabama, where I'm from. Yeah. I haven't heard that. Thing Thorn in a while. from Amila yeah, Island, Florida. Oh, I love that spot. That's a, that's a nice spot. You know about Amila Island, yeah? Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Thorn, do you sail there? He's Joe. No. I love Joe. Thank you, babe. Thanks for all the thanks for all the wine. Uh, Robert Cook, can't wait to book my trip with. Oh, whoa! I, I'm sorry. I, can't wait to book my trip with Sail Libra. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. 
Ryan, Robert good. Cook. Yep. James, did you want me to send some of your the dye penetrant and developer for checking your rigging and chain plates? No. You know what? Uh, very, very kind of you. I very much appreciate it, but I'm going to change the whole rig. I don't trust it. And before I before I do any other major crossings, I need to change it. I beat the shit out of that boat, man. I, I took it from Panama to St. Martin, which if it's 1,100 miles as a crow flies. So if you do it in the opposite direction, you can do it in like four or five days. It took me 18. <laughs> yeah, west to east is really hard. It, was, it is horrible, man. <laughs> yeah, some of the worst sailing I've ever experienced. Yeah, there's no good way to go east. And I've been in through some crazy shit in the, in the Pacific. Oh, yeah. And that was like the most uncomfortable I've ever been because the fetch makes the period so close. It sucks. Yeah, yeah the period is really short in the Caribbean. Yeah. You what's the what's the worst sail you've ever had? Uh, I'll tell you what, the Gulf of Mexico. I ran in the Gulf of Mexico for probably a good three years solid right doing Havana and Mexico or doing Havana and uh, Isla Mujeres Cancun Mexico. I love Cuba dude and then down to like Roatan right so just basically you know Western Caribbean and then the Gulf mm. um, the Gulf nice. is just snotty the, the wave period is very short and we were running in the winter because I had my day sale business in the summer and it's hurricane season in the summer anyway you're not you don't really want to venture out too far in the Gulf it uh I mean we'll have sea conditions there that are not Huge, but you know, six to eight feet, five seconds. Wow. I mean, it's just you can't go forward. I mean, you're trying to sail. Yeah, that yeah, sucks. You know, that's you're, horrible. You're that's really like having to boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's like riding down a railroad track. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, a good. That's a good analogy. Um, it just it just beats everything. It beats up the gear. Beats up the sails. Uh, if you and the one specific trip that I'm thinking of, I had uh, it was, I had a full load, and it was uh, we were going to Havana. And it's about a four-day sail from Pensacola. It's about five, six hundred miles, depending on uh, your route. But I had six guys all throwing up off the side. <laughs> One of them That's couldn't awesome. quite make it out of the companionway before he lurched a little bit all over uh, the uh, the table. Or I'm sorry, the, the sink in the galley. So that was very interesting. Oh, gross, so then, bro. Yeah, so then it's in the boat. You just right? got yeah, chunks so. in it. Yeah. And on that oh. specific trip, I think that was the trip that I had uh, the guy that was in his 90s on the boat. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's really rough. And I was like, he, he brought his own doctor. Yeah. He was, was he puking? Oh, yeah. They were both sick. Oh, he he sailed sailed the seeing a nine year old yeah, man. I mean, they, did, they did, you know, adventure things together, right? It's oh, not okay. like he brought his doctor Thanks. just in Oh, they're buds. Yeah, they're, they're buds. buds. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah, awesome. He just happened to be like a nice doctor, a good surgeon. So, how long was he on the water? Uh, what's that now? How long was he on the water with you guys? Uh, so we were on that trip for five days. Okay. To go 500 miles. It was a slug trip. I mean, it was, we zigged and zagged and tried okay. to get a, a pleasant point of sail. And we just couldn't, every time <laughs> we would get somewhere to turn, the wind would change and go right on our nose. So it was, it was very interesting and very rough and very bumpy. Uh, only because of the wave period. Now, in the Atlantic, where we're at now, I mean, like coming up from St. Thomas to Bermuda, I've been in beautiful sea conditions that are 15 feet, but they're spread out like a half a mile. So, you know, you go up on a wave and you can see forever, and then you go down for a while and you come back up. But that's just, you know, ground swell, right, what we call it. But the actual rough, choppy conditions are mostly what I've experienced in the Gulf is the roughest. Now, the Caribbean is definitely... The Caribbean it, sucks, it, too. It sucks, too, right? To go up wind. I'm trying to... Do most of my trips in the uh, Caribbean north south. Oh yeah, yeah, you that's know, the way to go. East, west, if yeah, you can go directly north south, that's yeah. about it. It's about as much as you can get. Right now, you know Aruba is is as far west as I'll ever venture because I'm not so sure I could get back if I went any further. Well, mm -hmm. you'd have to do like the Great Circle route and come up. You know, I'd have so. to go all the way back to Key West, come yeah, all the way yeah, through the exactly. Bahamas and back out toward yeah. Bermuda and down I-65. I think That'd that would have been. Route. I I actually oh, yeah, think nice. from Aruba to St. Martin would have been better to had I done that. Yeah, you would have. Probably put less wear and tear on your boat. Yeah. But now let me ask you this question: St. Francis, St. Francis Drake, Strait. Yeah, the Sir Francis Drake Channel. Yeah, mm -hmm. the channel. That's for green ones. You, you might say. Um. So like guys like me that want to just a uh, calm sailing from island to island. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, that. Yeah. I've and seen and we're talking about in the. Uh, yeah, they're talking about the high stuff. I'm talking about the low end stuff. Just, right. Just right. to just to get started for sure. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great okay. on that. Okay. That's awesome. And what, you said you wrote to 32? Uh, 30. 30? Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Um, look, look what Craig S Tucker says. He says, 18 days. Did you weigh anchor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, right. and that's kind of what it felt like, man. Yeah, and and, exactly. and it felt like that anchor was banging us in the freaking yeah, head. Right. Uh, um, 
Joe, Joe, Joe just gave us another 18 pounds. Thank you very much. That's rad. That's one more bottle of wine for all these beautiful people. <laughs> there you go. Thank nice. you, Joe. Yeah, we owe Thank you, Joe. Joe. Thank you, Joe. All right, I want to hear some more from the from the locals. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Well, Pete, though, take it. <laughs> what what, 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 what questions do you have for them? So, so you guys live here in Bermuda and yeah. sail kind of exclusively here. Right? Mm -hmm. What what anchorages or what cruising grounds are there outside of uh, St. George Harbor here? Right. So we've seen like the lake kind of in the center down here. Mm -hmm. That's not really accessible by a sailboat because you know the bridges. Good bridge. Right. But yeah. then on around toward Hamilton, where there's a bunch of coves and things. What is it like to actually sail and anchor and cruise in this area? Because I haven't seen a lot of cruisers. I mean, I see a lot of people use this as a, a stop or a meeting point to cross the Atlantic, but I haven't seen anybody kind of visit and then cruise around the island. At least I haven't. Um, is it a big thing? Is it? Is there a charter industry here that people can that's, come and rent a, boats? Is that's there? An interesting question. Mostly boats come in and they stay in St. George's. Right. Where we are that's now. This is a nice right anchorage. Yeah. I got yeah. to share out to say that's not a yeah, bad this is a way to do that. Now, yeah. like uh, the big super yachts you see there, um, Fidelity, I think that's what the name of that blue one is. Yeah. Uh, they would venture into Hamilton, yeah. and they would anchor into Hamilton for uh, X amount of days, mm -hmm. but they also come back to St. George's. Right. So the thing is, um, because the customs clearance is in St. George's, so right. I guess most boats stay here because it's close to the customs. Can so, you clear in in uh, Hamilton at all? Not that I know of. No, right. that, no. Maybe I need to check into that to right, answer right. Yeah, the question yeah. myself. No, that's but, fine. Um, yeah. Actually, the when they have the Newport Bermuda race, which is starting shortly, the custom I've seen they actually customs go to the World Bermuda Yacht Club and clear people from from the race. There. Yeah, that's that's an exception. That's, yeah. It's an exception to the rule. So there are exceptions to the rule. Right. You, you yeah. And, I mean? and so they finish uh, there and, in Hamilton. Right? And to answer your the question, to, uh, to answer your question about Anchorage in town. Um, right across from in the main area where the ferries dock, there are uh, moorings or even anchorage there, right. but not too many people go there. But only you because, can. Only, only you because can. it's the, the 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 freighters come straight through there. It's and a very commercial port. Right? Very yeah. commercial. Um, you, you know what I mean? Maybe because I ain't heard no one mention this, especially James. It's also a hidden cost. Oh, yeah. The Inks of Bermuda is very expensive. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> hey, man, you ain't kidding. That's right. <laughs> really? How much for this? They were, uh, let's see, nine for $13. Yeah. Nine wings. That yeah. I mean, it's not bad. That That's a is. lot, man. But, you know, you know, with happy hour, you get, you know, a dozen for $5 back yeah. in the state. Or right? all you can eat for, like, 10 yeah, bucks right, yeah, in yeah, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. We don't have all you can eat so, in Bermuda. Yeah, I got to say, I got to say, your island is one of the most coolest places, nice people very protected anchorage, beautiful. I don't know who's running the lawnmower, but somebody's running the lawnmower. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Here, but right? damn it. I feel like I'm in the botanical it's, gardens. It is, I it is so expensive here. Gas is $10 a gallon here. Yeah. Uh, it's about 50 bucks to have dinner per person. Yeah. That's I mean, that's like a no, you, normal dinner. You really? No. A, bit, then a, a decent dinner, dinner is yes, 50 easily so averages. Well, maybe I eat more than you guys, but it averages me a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, no, no, <laughs> per person. Per person? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. That was our first night when we arrived. I had a crew, took them all out. There, yeah. was, there were seven of us total. It was 700 bucks right on those. Yeah. There you they go. Comp, they comped us a couple of drinks, so they mixed up some things. So oh, yeah. It probably would have been over, you know, sure, eight or easy. nine hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, true. if I go out for eight or nine hundred bucks with my crew, that's pretty good. But that's pretty good. That's <laughs> going to be like a two-day bender. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we, we are expensive. Yes, we are. We have to fly everything in. So oh, yeah. There's yeah. A, yeah. You know what I mean? We fly everything in. Any any local produce that you get, and it's starting to pick up as far as the produce that we get, because we have to fly everything in. Now we've gotten gardens popping up everywhere. We've gotten um, local vendors on the side of the street selling their fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And that... that that was a lost art back in the day. Now it's coming back up. Yeah. So Sonny and I were riding around today on the motorcycle, and we went all the way down yeah, toward uh, Somerset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we were down in Somerset, and there was several. Yeah. Like, and it's yeah. Saturday today, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. there was a bunch of guys out yeah. selling uh, Carrots, onions, yeah. all yeah. kind of produce. We didn't, yeah. we didn't oh, really? have that years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We used to just have, um, they were called vegetable cards, yeah, we have and cards, they yeah. came out specific days in specific parishes. Yeah. That was all we had, but now... Seriously? Yeah. yeah. When was this? This was... Uh, in the 70s. 16 and 17. In the 70s. Yeah, in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. And 
and ate us. It, how, how often did you guys get replenished for your island? Did you have like one big no, barge no, that would come out? No, no, these people grew these vegetables. Oh, Everything really? Everything yeah. was grown in yeah. Bermuda. And they put it in a card, a vegetable yeah. card, a, yeah. a which, van, which is a truck. I bet, the, I bet those vegetables taste good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You couldn't be Bermuda onions? I search be, for yeah. Bermuda, Bermuda tomatoes. Great. I saw a bunch of scales uh, plowed up. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. And does, do, do, do and people they taste still? Nice, yeah. do, do people still? Do you still people have gardens growing, here? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. This is what sounds like it's going to be a dinner night one night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What yeah. else? What else, was, what else has changed in Bermuda since you guys have, have been here, been born? Mm. <laughs> what else has changed the the building, the structures? Uh, uh, that's I mean, you can I mean, the land, all yeah, the did, trees did. and yeah. the vegetation, all of that is just no like land cutting. Anymore. Mm. Really? Not in a quarter, yeah. yeah. We people, had people trees everywhere, n no buildings. It was yeah. basically yeah. Hamilton, St. George's, and Somerset. Yeah. Everywhere else were the trees. Mm. Yeah. Concrete jungle coming on online. Yeah. yeah. But again, you know, we still live a healthy life. We still have fun. We still relax. Oh. Yeah. We still can go. To Heath's house, have a cocktail. And yeah, at his oh, bar. speaking of that, and his bar is <laughs> called Get over Loose. His bar is called yeah, he, Get Loose. He has, he has a, a bar, bar in his house. Get Loose. Yeah, that's awesome. In the house. In the house. Yeah, well, you know, do, in the yard of the house. Do do like locals just Hello? come up and say, "I'm going to, I'm going to Get Loose." Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. I'm going to Get Loose. <laughs> well, you guys are locals now, so that's where we're going. Really. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. You guys are going to be so like, wow. Let's go back to Bermuda. Yeah, I, I, I like already want to come now, back. Are you kidding? But, but I tell you what, I tell you what, what this today represents for me, you have now spread to New Zealand, Australia, uh, wherever else who else is chiming in on this, they now know Bermudians, they now know us in Bermuda. Yeah. Hey guys, look us up when you get here. It's simple as that. Yeah, you, that's you know cool. what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna get you better yeah, watch yeah. out. There's a lot of people watching. <laughs> <you>. <laughs> But yeah, your we, bar is going to be full. We, 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 yeah. we are now ambassadors yeah. of Bermuda, and we've always been ambassadors of Bermuda. You, you know, we love our country. So i gotta, I got to take a break for a second and uh, acknowledge the people that are here. Um, Thorne is here watching from his Morgan Out Island 41 via Starlink, which oh, is nice. super sick. I'm on, on Starlink on Libra. On Emelian Island, Florida. I had, <laughs> Thorne, a uh, Morgan Out Island 41. That was my last boat before I brought Zingara 1 to the catamaran. Uh very very cool man that's we share that in common cheers and you have starlink and i don't so we don't share that in common i would love starlink love yeah dude it would it would change our lives yeah i saw somebody take a you know the uh, kvh domes right for the satellite dishes for direct tv that everybody used to have and uh, take that off yeah take that antenna out yeah put the starlink antenna on it and yeah pop the dome back on really off they go. Yeah. done yeah, I would love that. So, um, Joe, uh, babe, you have fueled this entire live stream. With, <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, Craig says Joe's getting James pissed. Pissed has a different meaning here in, than the Yanks. Yeah, I get it. And Joe says, uh, yeah, it's got to be done. <laughs> and the, the Craig says, uh, we, the Yanks, has have no... Uh, we're no strangers to getting pissed. Yeah, exactly. Same in the UK. Paul Steele is here. I passed through Bermuda from Scotland, and the only cheap thing was the tobacco. Yeah. We couldn't find weed. Oh, you didn't look in the right place. <laughs> you obviously didn't talk to the, the right people, man. But I asked questions. Um, That's awesome. Sausage. <laughs> That's a great name. I hope that, that you're the only sausage on here. Uh, hi from New Zealand. <laughs> I am here. I'm here in Vermont, but wish I was there. M. Watson. Uh, Craig Tucker says no worries. Watson says I grew up in the ocean, lived on my ocean growing up, and why the hell am I in Vermont now? Yeah. Yeah. They have, you have very why? good. You have very very good um, snow. Actually, it's not that good. It's kind of icy. Mm -hmm. uh, snowboarding was cool. Killington was kind of my home mountain okay, when I was well. working up there. Interesting. You know, I just thought of something because uh, since you were, since a lot of these guys were saying, I wish I was there, I did have a guy that his passport didn't arrive to him in time that was true on this next passage from uh, Bermuda to Newport. So if anybody wants to go from Bermuda to Newport and you can fly over here in a few days. Um, when are you leaving? 
Go over to uh, the, the first. Hey. We're going to leave on the first. Well, you got like four days uh, to yeah. figure that out. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Who, who's so, adventurous? Yeah, go to, go to sailleaver.com, get the details. But, uh, Sweet. Send me a message. I'm not there yet. I'll get you a different rate and right. uh, try to help you out a little bit. Yeah. If you really want to take the plunge and kind of jump on a plane real quick. Okay. You know what? Dude, that's the best decisions in life is where you make them like, and then you, and then you just fly out the next day. Excuse me, spontaneous, you say it, and you're leaving Bermuda to where? Newport. I am. Oh, so right what do you need? Another girl. Ooh, you guys want to go? Another girl. Might, might have it already. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you might have it already. look at that. Stand by, guys. How many days? I mean, so, so, this, so it's a it's a five day off. Five, five days. Yeah. Five yeah. days. We, we put seven days on the calendar, so it really runs from the first to the seventh. You would depart the uh, the boat right on the eighth. And what size yeah, right is the boat? It's this one right here. It's sixty feet. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to sleep on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you come with us. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the passages are really good. I missed three. Way. I missed three trips to the Newport Bermuda race. Yeah. yeah. One, I didn't have his thumb for it. Then I got into sailing, well, and then two, I'm, I'm I couldn't get off from work. Well, and three, right now. I just let it go. Yeah. All right. But I said, if the opportunity came right, again, so. I'm going to take it. You know, mm. you know what I mean? So like this I mean, this opportunity. Again. Yeah. Does it sound like an opportunity? Yeah, so like this there you opportunity. Go. No, no, not this it. one. He's working. Oh uh, god. Oh. <laughs> oh well. You gotta make that money, man. <laughs> hey. Yeah, she's retired, so I'm gonna see work. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna hear from Sonny now. You want from me? Yeah. <laughs> what? Man, we haven't heard from you I enough. Want, I want Hi. Sonny to tell us about some of the boats that she's uh, worked on. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sonny, well, I wanna hear I wanna hear some sea stories from Sonny. She worked on a great catamaran. No, 90 foot. 90 foot, foot. Yeah. cat. Yeah. What kind of cat? It, uh, it was a katana. 90 foot it katana. Actually, it actually broke katana, as in bankrupted katana. No way. The, the guy who ordered it, custom, that's, that's custom made and everything, a uh, cow farmer from South Africa, he won, uh, He ordered katana to make a big cat. So they did. They came with plans for 65. And he said, no bigger. And they came with 75. No bigger. And they came with this plan of a 90 foot cat. And they had so much faith in it that they started building a, a copy of it at the same time that hadn't sold yet. And they they estimated the price of, I don't know, it was, I think they said like uh, 8 million, but it ended up costing 10 million for one. And they were building two. And they just, the whole company just crashed. And, but that one catamaran, the sister is still sitting in the dock, or in the yard. Mm. Unfinished, but that one catamaran, uh, Orion, she has sealed the world. I've seen that. Cat. Yeah, 2000. Well, she's been in the Caribbean a lot yeah, and yeah. in Fiji. And I saw Orion in. Hold on, you keep talking because I got to think about where that was. <laughs> there was a couple cool cats there. There was two Marauds and TS5s, which are my favorite cat. Mm hmm. <laughs> Where did I see that damn thing? It was so big. I was like, what? Yeah, that yeah, thing? She, yeah, she and then I saw it was a katana. Huge. I was she's like, holy huge. shit. I didn't She's know if the it was cat. the only one. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Cats and big cats. yeah. And I I am a monohole girl, but that cat is something special. What does that is you're a monohole girl. <laughs> <laughs> what did I well, see there? Being talking about cats, you guys uh, familiar with Mousetrap? Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah she, she just left here. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, she was here uh, for the COGP event that we had here, but that's one of the biggest yeah. in the world. Yeah, it's just 120 she's feet. 125? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. Huh. That was awesome. On a 125 foot like mm -hmm. I don't look like about 100 to me. I mean, it's <laughs> kind of, you know, that kind of like a big rectangle. I'd figure like 50 yeah. feet or something. I think yeah. he Easily. Kill Libra just Easily. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> right between the five things. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, Sonny, you also just did an Atlantic Crossing, but right right after COVID started, right? And you left Grand Canary and uh, um, came across mm, on the Genoa? No, I, so I was working in the States, and then COVID started, and I left back to Holland because all the jobs kind of stopped. And um, I told my mom, like, oh, okay, mom, I'm coming back for the summer, and she was super happy, jumping up and down. <laughs> Yeah, hey, what else am I going to do, right? There's no jobs, there's no, nothing going on. And then uh, two weeks later, I got a message from, as voluntary crew, I'm on a couple of, I have a profile on a couple of sites, and I got a message from this captain who was looking for crew voluntary, boarding in the Netherlands and going down to the south of Portugal. 
So I jumped on board. Five days later, I was on board. So I was like, okay, mom, I guess I'm not staying for the summer. And she's like crying. Oh. <laughs> Bye. And I sailed off and I stayed eight months on that boat. It was so much fun. I stayed till the south of Portugal and then over to Madeira and then down to Canaries, down to Cape Verde, over the Atlantic to uh, to Sick. the Canaries and in the Can or in um, Caribbean. That's, that's the Caribbean now. Yeah, they're <laughs> the Caribbean. And it was really good. It was really, uh, yeah. Yeah. Madeira is kind of a hidden spot too. There's not a lot of cruisers actually go to. It's beautiful. It's Where beautiful. is that? So it's south of the Azores. It's actually in between the Azores and the Canaries. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people get to the Azores and then bam, we're gonna go it's hit terrible. Europe. It's terrible. Don't right? go there. Nobody Europe. wants to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. go there. So and then Madeira is south of that. I'm not sure. It's about a thousand miles um, south of the Azores. Cool. As far as I can remember. Cool. Um, but yeah, beautiful spot. You know, a lot of people just don't visit it. They get to Europe and they're excited to get there, and then they, when they leave, they go to the Canaries or they go to Cape Verde, and they're back. You know, back in the Caribbean. Mm. Um, you know, that's that Atlantic loop that we always talk about: is uh, Bermuda, Azores, Portugal, and then you do your kind of med trips there, and then back down to the Canaries and back across to the Caribbean, and there's your summer, fall season right there. A lot of people will wait actually until even uh, December. To or late December, January, February to, to cross the uh, Atlantic coming back off there. Okay. Mm. And you could leave from any of there. You could leave from Madeira, you could leave from the Canaries, or you could leave from Cape Verde. The further north, the harder it is. Nice. Why would you not want to go to Cape Verde? Oh, I would always want to go to Cape Verde. But timelines for me, like constraints, you know, those limit those. But Cape Verde is the easiest jump off point. You're going to have the best favorable wind direction. You're going to have a broad reach the whole time. A lot of times if you leave from the Canaries, it's kind of downwind for a lot of time and a lot of boats are just sluggish going dead down a lot of boats suck it down especially yeah. catamarans there's a lot of wind unless you have a, a spinnaker and, and, and you got to have two spinnakers then because you got to have a big one and then you got to have a small one because if it's ripping, ripping yeah it's yeah. really blowing it's yeah you got to have a little kite yeah. mm -hmm. i always want to get a parasail when it's really blowing and just throw it up in the air <laughs> like a pair off, off of a parasail boat. you, you really? do that yeah, you, you, can, do you that. can do you know they, they have those things 40 feet wide they pull them on light days. So Damn it. That'd be so cool. I got some buddies in the parasail business. I'm trying to get a shoot. Anybody got a parasail? Shoot. <laughs> I can just try to fly off front of the boat. <laughs> just let it pull it through the water. All right, guys. Anybody have any other questions for the wonderful locals that we, we have here? We've had such a good time in Bermuda. I would really like to uh, return the favor, the hospitality that you guys have had. This extended to us. I, I've enjoyed your company. Yeah, have you? No, no. And the 60 foot boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We'll, we'll go over that later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a room. <laughs> Shelly with an EY. Yes. You can have a room. Yeah. I'll are, kick are Joey you? out right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll sleep outside. Yeah. <laughs> you can have Joey's room. I tell yeah. you what, though. She can cook. And you and Bermuda food, right here. Yeah, sweet. You know, she, oh my God. Well, we love to eat. Yeah, yeah, we're looking wait, for a cook. Wait, you're looking for a cook to take you back? We're looking for some peas and rice. Peas, peas and rice. And, rice. Macaroni and, cheese. and some macaroni and cheese. Yes, that's the Bermuda dishes. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is what's the, what's yeah. the, the most yeah. favorite dishes that you guys eat that are, that yeah. are local? We have several. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, peas and rice. What's tomorrow? Peas and, peas and rice. Uh, we have tomorrow's one Sunday. Sunday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. One that's called a fish charter. Have you, have you had that? I did. So with the sherry and the... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But everybody black, makes it different. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because um, Shelly makes fish chowder as well. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I want some fish uh, yeah. chowder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got some in the fridge, yeah. baby? Yeah. I got to no, try no, that no, right no, now. No, no, no. Listen, I've been guys, on vacation. Got, listen, she's going to make fish chowder. She's going to make fish cakes. She's going to make oh. everything. Yeah. You guys are in serious trouble. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm on vacation, though. You know where your cabin yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so pick, pick, you got this, pick baby. Pick yeah, whichever one you want. We'll sleep in hammocks outside. Okay, okay. We've been cuddling anyways. I would sleep up in the water right now. If you gave me some fish cakes, <laughs> I've been I've been eating his his cooking. Who's he? Mine, yeah, mine. Zach, is that yeah. pretty good? I'm learning. If you like cardboard, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. And, and yes, doing the craft macaroni and cheese. Uh, I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. But here's the difference: you cut up hot dogs and you put them in the craft macaroni and cheese. That's the signature. signature. Right oh, there, you go. Because it's meat. <laughs> yeah, meat. You need to uh -huh. have meat with. Something. Yeah. All right, now, okay, look, look, guys, we gotta end the live stream. I'm really hungry. So, <laughs> listen, I, thank you guys all for watching. Much love. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. I love thank you all. You, you, you all have such a good energy. Yeah. Thank boom, you. Boom, thank you. boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah.
Uh, Ryan from Sail Libra. If you want to see him, go to saillibra.com. You, he's got a schedule Sail out. Libra. He's got he's got one guy that just canceling. He needs somebody else on his boat for like in three days. So the adventurous ones of you, yep. do it. That's Bunts. always a good option in life. Bunts are available. Bunts are available. Mm-hmm. And then thank you to my crew too. And Sony. And thank you to you, Jay. Yes. And well, I, I um, umbrella the sale Libra thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're, red. You're red too, Sonny. Joy. All right. Joy, much, much love. Much love. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.